In this webcast, we are going to show an open source web UI for the Hyper-V console. The Hyper-V console provides console access via RDP, but using additional settings compared to the standard RDP connection. It's the way in which Hyper-V Manager or VM Connect are connecting actually to the hypervisor. It has a different port, so it's 2179 instead of the traditional 3389, and it needs also a so-called pre-connection blob PCB containing the virtual machine ID, which is simply a GUID. A simple way to get the GUID of a virtual machine is by using the PowerShell on Windows Server 2012. So you can get it with get VM and then pipe it to select object ID name. Uh, passing the PCB is possible using either the Microsoft Remote Desktop ActiveX control or FreeRTP. We decided to use FreeRDP because it's a great project, it's open source, okay, it's licensed with Apache 2, you can see now on the screen the, the GitHub repository URL. It works on Linux, Windows and Mac OS X, including also the free Hyper-V server, which as you know doesn't have the uh, Hyper-V manager installed or available, uh, neither VM Connect. There is also another project in the FreeRDP repository called um, FreeRDP Web Connect. We extended this project to support Hyper-V, as it is not possible to do it with the version that you can find in the current repository. The web gateway is divided into parts. It contains a client and a server. The client is fully HTML5, which means that works on any modern browser. It's based on web sockets for data transfer, which gives quite a lot of performance. It has a canvas for painting, and this means that it can embed it in any website, also for mobile usage. Um, the server proxy is called WS Gate and it's written in C++. It's currently working on Linux. So here is a live demo of the project. We have the host name here, we can specify a port, in this case we are going to specify the 2179 instead of the standard one. We provide the virtual machine ID, a username, a password. In this case username and password are the credentials for the Hyper-V server, not for the guest machine, because we are connecting to the Hyper-V server and only from there we go and look back on the host itself, on the guest itself. So we connect and here we go. This is a Windows 8 machine. As you can see I can click. We are connected to a VPN so you can see some uh, latency uh, which is due actually to the, to the network itself. But as you can see, everything is working, so I can start some other applications. Here's WordPad. Can I'm entering some random keys, okay? Paintbrush and so on. At this point, you might say, yeah, cool, I'm connecting it to um, a RDP connection. Okay, as you can see, I'm running it on a Mac, so it's not a Windows machine, but you say, okay, there are a lot of RDP clients to do that. Why should I bother? Well, first, it's a web client, so it can run everywhere. It doesn't need any ActiveX component, uh, Java client or whatever. Uh, but the cool part is that being a console access, we are not connecting to the RDP itself. Sorry, to the guest RDP um, itself. So, for example, if I restart it, Yeah, say restart. Instead of getting disconnected, I can interact with the guest through the reboot um, phase. Okay, killing of course some applications. So the change of resolution, as you can see, is not yet perfect, but you can see I'm, I'm interacting now with a console doing a startup. I could, for example, boot from a DVD or for a CD and performing an installation. Okay, here we go. This is a Windows 8 machine, so as you can see, there is some latency in the animation, and it is due to the fact that, of course, being it is an HTML5 canvas, we don't have local acceleration. But of course, this effect is not happening for I don't know, regular server operating system or situation in which you disable this type of animations. So here we are, we are back to our console. Now, let me show you something more. Let's go back to our original screen 
and let's connect to a Linux machine. In this case, we provide a different ID. So let's change the port and let's connect. In this case, as you can see, we are connected to a Linux box. So, and this happens because the, the RDP connection goes directly to the Hyper-V server. There is no direct RDP connection to the operating system itself. So the operating system doesn't need to provide any type of um, um, remoting display um, um, protocol service. So for example, VNC, RDP or whatever. This is a solution which works great for um, cloud-related product. For example, we are doing it for the integration inside of OpenStack, but any other solution like CloudStack or others can benefit from this. I hope you enjoyed this quick demo. Here are our four repositories in case you would like to take a look at it and maybe help us in this work. We plan to merge the code in the main FreeRDP repos once we are done. So here are the contacts. You can contact, contact us on Twitter, so on Cloudbase it and on GitHub Cloudbase, which is actually the same repository that you see here. We are also planning to integrate this work in OpenStack, so it's going to be ready for the Grizzly release in actually roughly two months from now. So, thank you.